indirectly. By default, if you open a bank account, you are involved with interest. Your money is being used in the banks for interest. The question we ask ourselves, how men that lived, lived 1,400 years ago knew about something that we can observe right now? Because he clearly said he got the revelation from the Creator. I'll give you another prophecy. Prophet Muhammad said, it will come a time when you see the barefoot Arab man. The barefoot Arab man. The people that live in the Arab Peninsula. You will see them competing. Even look what he said. He didn't say building. No, competing in building tall buildings. When the Prophet Muhammad mentioned that, that was 1,400 years ago. That was impossible for the Arab back in those days to do that. Let me ask you now. Where is the tallest building in the world? Dubai? Dubai, yeah. Dubai has, you know, you know Dubai? Burj Khalifa. Burj Khalifa is the tallest building in the world. Oh, uh, yeah, I see. Yeah, 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 Burj Khalifa. Yeah, you can check it online. And guess what? Do you know who's competing with them? Saudi. Jeddah, yeah. In Jeddah now, they're trying to build something taller. But a person might say, the reason they're doing it to fulfill the prophecy. No, Prophet Muhammad, he was not saying it as an encouragement. One of the scholars said, as rebuking it. Because, well, okay, you're going to build tall, tall, tall buildings, but people are dying out of hunger. You understand? You're wasting money in tall buildings. Anyway, so how man that existed 1,400 years ago knew something that we can observe right now? Because he got the knowledge from the Creator. I'll give you another one. What distinguished Islam from any religion, any way of life? Islam came to preserve five things. You know, and sorry for taking your time. Yeah, after, right, yeah. Sorry, Brother Charlie. Yeah? So listen to this. Yeah? Islam came to preserve five things. Islam came to preserve religion. What does it mean? Meaning the pure oneness of God, to, to worship God alone. That's why paganism, polytheism, atheism is forbidden Islam. Because it turns people away from their original state. All right? Islam came to preserve intellects. That's why anything that harms intellects is forbidden. Alcohol. Drugs is forbidden. Islam came to preserve wealth. That's why gambling, interest is forbidden. Islam came to preserve lineage. That's why fornication is forbidden. Because when you, people fornicate, no one cares. People, generally people don't care about children. He's like, I don't care, this woman has stepped over her. You know? So that child has no rights and so on, yeah? So look at these five things, yeah, that Islam came to preserve. Let's go to the other side. Now, when you have no God in your life, Everything will become subjective. You just follow when you desires. And we can observe that right now. You wake up, you think I'm a, man, I'm a woman today. The next day you wake up, you think no, I'm a dog today. You wake up and you have to respect people. They say you have to respect me if I do identify myself as a dog. And you have to respect me if I believe I'm a penguin. Because confusion, you know, because well, you have no creator, everything's subjective, yeah? Now, alcohol, is it good for us or bad for us? Bad. Individually and collectively. Gambling, is it good or bad? Bad. Individually and collectively. Uh, interest, is it good or bad? Interest is bad because what interest makes the rich richer, poor poorer. It's bad, okay? Uh, we talk about gambling. Okay, fornication is bad as well. No doubt about that. Why? I don't like someone to, bring, to, to play with my daughter. Prophet Muhammad said, if you love a woman, marry her. Because when you, when you marry her, she has a right over you. So, the five things that is destroying societies, and the worst of them, when you are worshipping your desires, Islam come and guessed it. So why some people hate Islam? I will tell you why. There's two types of people who hate Islam. Either they are ignorant or those who are in power. Those because why? Gambling, yes, you can get benefit from it. Alcohol, uh, interest and so on. So let me give you this example, Charlie. Imagine, I, will, uh, imagine I'm, I, I live in London, yeah? And I have companies of interest, banks. I have companies of gambling, I have companies of alcohol, companies of prostitution. And you come into London as a Muslim telling people about Islam. How am I going to look at you? How you look at me? Yeah, how am I going to look at you? Telling people about Islam. Yeah, you telling people about Islam as an enemy. Because oh, yeah, why are you taking customers away from me? Yeah, yeah. But it, that's even though what you're teaching people is good for them individually and collectively, you know? Yeah. But because I'm an evil man, I'm making money from the suffering of the people, I'm going to look at it as evil. And this is exactly what's happening right now. Those who are in power, they are utilizing their wealth through the media to make Islam look bad, 
even though you just agreed with me, what Islam legislated is good for people. Make sense? It's clear? Let me give you this example. Imagine I said, Charlie, look, I'm a trillionaire. You know, I have a lot of money. I spoke to you, you're a very respected person. I'm going to give you a gift. I said, listen, I'm going to give you two million pounds as a gift. You know, what would you say to me at least? Thank you. You'll be very happy, yeah, bro. You're gonna, you're gonna forget your friends, man. <laughs> Two million, I mean, that's man. Two million. No, you're gonna, you're not gonna just say thank you. You're gonna remember Shamsi all the times, all your life. I will give you two million pounds on the condition. Give me your two eyes. No, go. Do you know why? Because your eyes is more valuable than anything. So why we not? We are not grateful and remember the one that gave us eyes for free. Make sense? Yeah. See? Now, yes, we want to be grateful to God. We want to be grateful to the Creator and worship Him. Now, let me ask you another question. If you, are, if you want to buy a gift for your mother, would you buy a gift that you love or your mother love? Likewise, if you want to worship the Creator, we should worship Him the way He loves, not the way we love. Because the way He loves is objective. The way we love is subjective. And there's something I want to mention. One of the clear proof that Muhammad is a messenger of the Most High, the legislation he came with. Now we have politicians who studied in the best universities around the world, Harvard University, Oxford University, Cambridge University, yet they cannot resolve the problems that we are facing in our time. But we have a man that existed 1,400 years ago who couldn't read and write. He's coming with a legislation that will resolve all the problems. That give us a clear cut proof this man must be something special about him. And that was, he was a messenger of the Most High. If it makes sense to you, it's clear to you, I invite you to become Muslim. If you listen to what I say, if it makes sense to you and you believe it's the truth, I don't want to make you feel pressured, none of that. That's why I always say if it makes sense, if you believe it's the truth, then become Muslim. Because what I always say to you, you don't know when you're going to die. No one knows you're going to die. This life is temporary. I was speaking to your friend about owning a house. We don't own nothing. Whatever you own, you're going to leave it. When we die, your, our house will not come with us inside the grave. Your garment will not come with you inside the grave. Allah mentioned the Quran, The meaning of it, you have returned to us just as we have created you in the beginning. This life is like a bridge. You cross from one side to the other side. We believe the Most High has an attribute of mercy. That's why it's created paradise. If you believe in Him and follow His teaching, you have a paradise, eternal life. And it has this attribute of anger. That's why it's created the hellfire. If you turn away from God, which is one of the great, uh, greatest crime, the outcome of that is the hellfire. But don't think Allah is going to make the righteous one equal with the evil ones. And the biggest evil is when you turn away from your creator who gave you life, your own existence by his own virtue. But yet you turn away from him because you're too busy with this life. You don't know when you're going to die. I don't know when I'm going to die. But if it makes sense to you and it's clear to you, because that's what it's shahada tell. When someone becomes Muslim, what is it? I bear witness there is no one worthy of worship except Allah. I mean, I bear witness that I should worship the Creator, my Creator. And I bear witness Muhammad, the Messenger of Allah, that's the second, which is, I just showed you why we believe Muhammad, the Messenger of Allah, his prophecies, his miracles, his legislation, which you believe you said it makes sense. So I'm inviting you, if you, if you want to become Muslim, that's how you become Muslim, bro. You want to become Muslim? Give him some time. Uh, uh, let, 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 wait, wait, let him think. Don't feel pressured. <laughs> Don't feel, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Let him, let him. Chill, chill, no, no, chill out. No, no, no. You said give him time, correct? Yeah, no, give him time. Are you promised he live tomorrow? No, of course not. If he dies as a disbeliever. Of course not. Now, if he dies as a disbeliever. Then I'll be on him. You'll be, you'll be responsible. So that's why you say when you give, when I'm telling him, if it makes sense to you and it's clear to you, don't feel pressured. You know, because why? Because Prophet Muhammad told us. When a person wants to become Muslim, yeah. Satan will try to put barriers, you know? Yeah. I'm, I'm, how old are you, by the way? 18. 18. My wife should become Muslim when she was 14. Yeah. I'm not sure she's, uh, that was like, a, I, don't, I don't know where I say her age anyway. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was way to her age. <laughs> but my point here, there is some, you know what I'm saying? There are some people become Muslim straight away. There are some people say, give me time. No doubt about that. But I always mention, if it makes sense. And because why? Well, you've been cut off from your creator. I told, when I told you I'll give you two million pounds, he didn't say give him a time to say thank you. He didn't say that. He didn't say that. You know, let me give you a time to say thank you. You said thank you straight away. Yeah. On the spot, you understand? So if it makes sense, is it true, bro? 
he's not going to come up inside the grave. He wants, of course, understand where he's coming from. Yeah, yeah. Give him time. But that's why I always say to the people, and you can watch my videos, some people accept Islam straight away. Because why? He said, you know what? It makes sense to me. And that's what I need in my life. You know, I need to be grateful to my creator. I need to worship my creator. And, so, like it. and some people say, give me time. Some people, they come back to us and take shahada, I mean, to become Muslim. Some people, maybe, they become busy with life. They forget. But again, no one should, should not blame no one on the day of resurrection. That's why I'm saying this open invitation for you. If you want to become Muslim, then it's open invitation. If you want to give you time, there's something else, no problem, whatever you want. So what do you want? Give me time. Alright, give, give me the gun. Anyone has a gun? <laughs> <laughs> no time for that. Alhamdulillah, no problem at all. We have our channel. Watch the channel. But again, what I would say, when you leave the park, all of us will become busy with life. But don't forget about what we talk about. What we spoke about. Study, read more, no problem, understand. Are you going to become Muslim? I'm sure. Oh, no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have any question? No, 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 that's good. What about you? Do you have any question? You look good, yeah? Soft earth information. Mashallah, alhamdulillah. Morocco is playing football today. Today. Who are they playing? Who is Tunisia? Egypt. Ah, Egypt, okay. Mashallah. I have to support Morocco, man. I'm in mean, Morocco, in here. I mean, my grandmother is Morocco, so I have to. I don't really watch football. I watch it now and then, you know? Let's say again. We said, uh, uh, anyway, man, you know, football, Charlie, it was nice to meet you. My pleasure to meet you, brother. I can give you some money. I charge people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah give me my two million back, bro. <laughs> Look, I'm here every Sunday, but you can go back to our channels, do you as Dawah. Do you, you can speak, uh, go on, on Google, I mean, YouTube, you find our channel. Anyway, I have to go, inshallah, man. Yeah, sure. All right, my brother. Salam alaikum. Yeah, yeah, take care. Yeah, take Charlie, man, nice to meet you, bro. Take care, man. Salam alaikum, Take care, you love. Brothers, I'm off, man. السلام عليكم قال يا عشيرتي جميعكم حتى ابنتي لا اغني عنكم فاعبدوا الهكم ووحدوا اذا اعجبك الفيديو لا تنسى الاعجاب والتعليق ولكي يصلك كل جديد اشترك الان